Hello, my name is Tony Sant, and uh, along with uh, Neville Borch, we uh, prepared this uh, for this edition of the Arctic Knot, the uh, Wikipedia Language Conference. Uh, we've titled it Ensuring Malta's First Wikipedian in Residence Survives the Pandemic. Uh, yes, it is about um, us celebrating the first uh, Wikipedian in residence in Malta. It is also about us surviving the pandemic, but more than that, it is also a kind of um, a state of the nation uh, as far as Malta and Wikipedia is concerned. We are active in an organization called Wikimedia Community Malta, which is based in Valletta, the capital city. Uh, we are all volunteers. This is a Wikimedia Foundation affiliated user group, which was registered as a non-governmental organization as a voluntary organization, as it were, in uh, 2016. And uh, we operate a website at wikimalta.org uh, in parallel, of course, to all the um, Wikimedia uh, platforms. Focusing primarily on Wikipedia, naturally speaking, uh, we would be looking for the uh, Maltese language, uh, Wikipedia. And as you know, uh, the Wikipedia exists in um, around 300 languages, but Maltese is quite hard to find. And the reason for this is that we are in the category of um, language Wikipedias with under 10,000 articles uh, in that uh, specific language. Maltese has only just gone over 4,000 articles just uh, a few days uh, before the end of May 2021. But we see here from these three graphs uh, that we've had an interesting uh, trajectory here of growth uh, since we became involved with this, active editors have gone up from about uh, 3 to 12 over the past um, a few years. As I say, we've been active since uh, 2016, but we only really became active uh, on the Maltese language Wikipedia in about 2018-2019. Um, uh, and so you can see here uh, the spikes related to edits uh, as well as new pages relating to some of our, compa of our campaigns. And I'll, I'll speak about those in just a second. This year, we based our activities on those of the previous year. So um, in 2020, 2021, uh, we had four main uh, activities uh, that, we, that we participated in or we planned. And these we're going to build on uh, into the coming year. Um, the main difference, of course, is we will not be celebrating Wikipedia's 20th birthday again, and we will no longer, at least uh, as it's planned, have this um, radio show uh, that we had on Campus FM for about um, uh, six months. Beyond that, however, you know, we will again be having another uh, Wiki Loves Monuments. Uh, we will be taking part in Wiki Loves Folklore, including Folklore and Feminism, as well as CE Spring for next year. And again, hopefully, following this year's uh, WPWP, we will once again take part in the, um, um, this, this new activity. Um, in case you're wondering what our Wiki Loves Monuments looks like, here are some of the um, winning photos. And from this past year, we finally have managed to get an honorable mention for a photo from Malta in Wiki Loves Monument on the uh, international uh, contest. But the numbers continue to grow, and they're they're quite they're quite encouraging. You see here our uh, numbers for Wiki Loves Monuments. Our Art and Feminism built on this Wiki Loves Art initiative that we had, as well as our uh, CEE Spring, uh, in which, of course, uh, remains a great and interesting uh, challenge for us. Now we're about to embark on Wikipedia pages wanting photos. The first edition will take place in Malta this summer. And this is how we've been ensuring that the uh, first Wikipedian in residence survives the pandemic over the past year and going into next year. Thank you.